I now turn to uh, uh, Sandeep Chakravarti, uh, dear friend and the suave and the dynamic diplomat who work day and night uh, for the success of this summit. Uh, now, Sandeep tells me that, uh, you know, he's been invited to so many of these events that, uh, you know, it uh, EU also crops up in his sleep, you know, I start chattering about uh, EU, the course of his sleep, he dreams about EU and all that. Uh, so, uh, Sandeep, my question to you is that since you were, a, you had a privileged seat uh, in these negotiations and you played an important role. Uh, role in shaping the joint statement and other important outcomes. Uh, give us an inside view of what happened, you know. I mean, uh, especially we would like uh, to know uh, that uh, what are those areas where, uh, you know, you deployed your fabled charm to pull it off, you know, where you got the EU to concede to issues of Indian interest. And uh, on a more serious note, uh, uh, you may like to have written also and spoken about Indo-Pacific convergence between India and the EU. How do you look at, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the convergence we see reflected in the joint statement? Over to you, Sandeep. Thank you, uh, Manish. I hope uh, you can hear me. Uh, wonderful yeah, to yeah, be yeah. Uh, yeah. On, this, uh, on this panel with uh, many friends and... Uh, with uh, ambassadors uh, Ugo and uh, Ambassador Vincenzo and uh, Ambassador Freddy and Carlos uh, and of course uh, Romana has joined us from uh, from Brussels. I hope Romana you can hear us now. And uh, so I would um, start by saying that uh, uh, you know it's very easy and uh, wonderful to negotiate and uh, with friends and and. Um, I think uh, uh, we were uh, involved in negotiations on the connectivity partnership with, uh, with Romana uh, in Brussels, and uh, uh, we never felt that you know uh, it was. Uh, although uh, both sides uh, were very conscious about their uh, their positions and and uh, their interests, but uh, there was always this uh, friendliness and 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 this uh, whole. Uh, uh, I think uh, the sentiment that you know what we are doing is 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 for common good, and I think uh, I would just uh, recollect what Hugo said that uh, what Prime Minister said in in the meeting that uh, India and EU are force multipliers for common good. I think uh, that sentiment is is there, and and it it's uh, it's it's very pervasive, and uh, it was very evident uh, in in the room uh, which we joined in virtually. And we saw um, uh, the the sentiment uh, uh, coming across very very positively, very strongly. And uh, 19 EU leaders spoke, and uh, it is a rare moment in history where 30 leaders were in one room, and and uh, they were most basically speaking from the same notes. I would say there was hardly any discordant note. In fact, there was none. And 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 um, uh, uh, and uh, everybody expressed. Um, Support and solidarity for uh, for the difficult time that India was going through, but they said that they believe uh, that uh, the the solution to the problems uh, the world faces is also by increasing India EU uh, partnership and, and 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 cooperation. And it was manifest in 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 the joint statement, and it is manifest in in the in the uh, connectivity partnership, which uh, in which Romana had had, had a big role uh, to play. I echo uh, and 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 reiterate everything that uh, uh, ambassadors Ugo and uh, Carlos uh, have mentioned, and I would also like to highlight uh, uh, the special role which Portugal played. Uh, it means uh, you know, uh, the, you know, behind the scenes, which uh, Carlos was mentioning, I would uh, I would share a few details about the behind the scenes uh, activity. You know, in the in the peak of the pandemic, uh, Portugal uh, sent its uh, Minister of State for Trade and Commerce to to India for discussions uh, uh, with with uh, with uh, MOS uh, uh, Mr. Hardeep Puri, and and you know, uh, I thought it it had a role, and then uh, the conversations which. Um, uh, Minister uh, Silva Santos had with uh, with the ministers in government of India and uh, the telephone conversation of uh, Prime Minister uh, and our Prime Minister and and the general diplomatic effort. Every capital, every leader that uh, we spoke to uh, voiced uh, support for for uh, the India EU relationship. And I think um, 
the outcomes were there uh, for all of us to see. So I am very optimistic about um, about uh, the outcomes uh, and all of that will happen. You see, the EU relationship is special in the sense that uh, you know we have relationships, uh, uh, extraordinary relationships with member states. So uh, you know, and some member states are represented here: Italy and and Denmark and and and, and Portugal. Extraordinary relationship with with the member state. And then we also have a relationship with with EU. Uh, EU has um, uh, what should I say um, uh, uh, domain on on certain issues, for instance, trade or on climate change or on 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 the, on the normative aspects of of the relationship. And uh, in uh, in trade and investment, we were not uh, moving forward. And uh, we saw in this uh, meeting uh, of the of the EU with the EU leaders a unique opportunity. To, to push through uh, a resumption of the, of the trade negotiations and and um, I think there was reciprocation and there was a lot of support from from everywhere and and uh, we achieved uh, uh, that uh, now I think the challenge would be to uh, to uh, keep up uh, with the momentum to to uh, to start the negotiations to do the pre FTA discussions to uh, make the scoping papers to share our views. And 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 then uh, quickly embark on 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 negotiations and 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 reach conclusion because if we uh, do not successfully do it, then I think uh, we would be belying uh, the 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 faith uh, that the leaders have have reposed uh, on us. In fact, uh, Prime Minister said in the meeting that you know we should not let it just to the bureaucrats or the negotiators to uh, reach a conclusion of the, of the of the FTA. We, the politicians, the political leadership, also have to lean on uh, on 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 them and and ensure that. It is guided. We are lucky that we have this high-level mechanism, uh, the high-level dialogue uh, led by um, uh, Vice President uh, Dombrovskis and our Commerce Industry Minister, which will uh, monitor the progress. So I am very optimistic, and uh, although it's not easy to, uh, from the Indian perspective, to negotiate uh, with the EU and FTA because they are uh, masters in, in FTA negotiations, and 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 uh, they also have to uh, carry. Uh, uh, the concerns and uh, and and the and the stakes of all 27 member states. So the, that that becomes a challenge, and I understand and, and appreciate that. Uh, but um, uh, we would also like to uh, to uh, to move on with that. And I think political will within India. We want a stronger economic relationship with uh, with Europe, and uh, that will uh, that's going to happen. I was just remarking in in the previous event that I was attending that somehow maybe in India we. Uh, on on a, on a regular basis, do not realize the importance of Europe for India. But if you see over the last eight ten months, the virtual summits that we have held, uh, most of them have been with Europe. The fifteenth EU summit uh, in, in July. Then we had a, a summit with Luxembourg, with Italy, with uh, Denmark, with Sweden, with uh, with uh, with Netherlands, and and now the EU leaders meeting. So uh, you know, large number of meetings have taken place. So. That proves that you know there is uh, substance and depth in the relationship, and and uh, and uh, um, uh, you know our money where where, where the where the are there. So I think uh, and it is being reciprocated. And uh, I would uh, strongly uh, urge you to watch this space, and you will find a lot of uh, follow up. Uh, already, uh, as we are talking, uh, who sent me a mail. He wants. Uh, he wants a meeting tomorrow itself with with me on 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 a follow up of, of some of the discussions uh, that were held uh, in, in the summit so there, there you are you know uh, despite the pandemic uh, i think uh, we are we are following up and and uh, and, and and more will happen uh, as far as india eu relations are concerned but again i'll just get back to the to the room uh, on that day ugo was there he was he was he was also with us and uh, i think uh, amazing sentiments uh, in the, in the room Every leader spoke uh, very, very warmly towards India, and and uh, of course you mentioned about uh, Prime Minister Costa, but uh, I I saw him visibly very emotional because I think uh, he 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 took it upon himself when he came here in 2019 after he met with Prime Minister Modi uh, that uh, he will he will take the responsibility of uh, putting momentum and strength back into the relationship, and 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 he did it. So full credit to the Portugal presidency. And to the EU leaders, uh, President Michel wrote a very, very endearing letter to Prime Minister when he of invitation uh, to Prime Minister when he invited him uh, for the summit. And uh, just before the summit, uh, 
Uh, President uh, Ursula von der Leyen had a telephonic conversation uh, with with the Prime Minister, and and also the support we have got from the European Union. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it it's only between friends that that such a thing can happen. You know, immediately uh, the European Union activated their uh, their their mechanism, which is known as the ECO, uh, and uh, large amount of uh, aid ha or assistance had, had has flown in. It is coming in every day, and uh, it has been very helpful. And uh, in 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 meeting the challenge uh, that India is facing in COVID. Over to you, Manish.